really? I mean, seriously guys, you're trying to climb up the stop sign? Why don't you, like, concentrate your efforts more out there? Like, move this way and that way. Hey, what's up lawn care nuts? Thanks for coming back for yet another week. Okay, so today's video is gonna be a little bit of a hodgepodge. I guess you could kind of consider this an update here on the St. Augustine plug grow, as well as the start of a new chapter that we're gonna call St. Augustine Grass Rehab. So let's just take a minute here and do a quick recap on what's going on with this part of the lawn here. for Dove Weed 2. So I'm gonna spray Celsius on this side full strength, and then I'm gonna spray Celsius on this side, but only at like quarter strength, because that's all I got left. But what's most interesting is the side over here, I don't know if you can see this, but it is definitely more dead on this side, the Celsius side, than it is on the blind side side. The dove weed on this side is starting to go to flower. Blind side side, it's going to flower. It's like living a happy life. Hey, what's up blind side, thanks a lot. Whereas on the Celsius side, again, a slower start, but look, we're not, we're seeing still a lot of curling and we are definitely not seeing any flowering activity. So what I'm basically trying to say here is that the left side that I hit with blind side, it came on really strong, really fast, but it didn't last. The mature dove weed kind of grew right through it. I think it knocked it too hard, but it had no staying power. Whereas the Celsius side on the other side, on the right side, it came on really slow. In fact, I really didn't see hardly any results until like day 17 or 18 and into day 21. But when it did come on, it really knocked it out cold. Pretty cold anyway. I didn't expect that this uh, application, this one application, no matter what, was going to cure everything, but definitely Celsius did better. All right, so here's where we are as of right now, September 10th. I kind of, I still have these red stakes in the ground here. So this was all Celsius originally. So originally it was Celsius and blindside. And then to clarify this part, basically I just put a nap of Celsius across the entire lawn. It's just where the Celsius had been previous. I had to use a little bit lighter rate just to not exceed the label specifications. But the whole thing got Celsius. And yes, this is me trying to act like I'm Casey Neistat. And then, as I just explained, I went back and did a second application of Celsius over here, but it was at a much lower rate because Celsius does have a yearly maximum amount that you can use. So I hit Celsius over here again at the lower rate, and then I did a full rate application of Celsius on this side. So basically what you have is full rate blind side, followed up 21, 22 days later by full rate Celsius. And then over here what you have is full rate Celsius and then followed up 21, 22 days later with a, I think it's like a half rate Celsius. Now there are some areas where I got a little bit more heavy handed than others and I did that on purpose and you can see right here, this is one of those areas where I got more heavy handed. This is also the divider here so, you know, so you can see where I got heavy handed, it really... Oh. 
I've, even with all these treatments, I've still got dove weed raging in here. It's not completely cleaned out. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and continue cleaning that up as we go here. But I feel good about where we are, especially when I look at where the dove weed has been cleared out. I'm seeing that my St. Augustine was thriving underneath it, just like I thought. You guys would remember, it was really bad, and I was afraid that the dove weed was gonna completely choke the St. Augustine out. But I did have faith that there were runners underneath that were still there, they were just in competition. So now that I've cleared the dove weed out, you can see I was exactly right. The runners are still there and still thriving. So look in here. See this? This is a runner. This was completely covered with dove weed just a few weeks ago. There's a runner right there. There's a runner right there. You know, there's a lot of, there's some good St. Augustine still here. Now I do have one thing on my side here that I really need and that's the weather. Although it's like 95 degrees today, we are getting into mid-September and temperatures are going to start coming down. And the lower the temperatures get, the more naturally the dove weed's going to die off anyway. Because it rages in summer and pretty much dies in the winter. So I do have to clean up some of this lingering dove weed, but I'll do that with a different weed control in conjunction with my fall rehab that we're going to be doing here. With the weather helping me out, I have no doubt that things are going to turn around really quick. Now I am going to have to wait just another couple weeks before I can start the full rehab and that's because we have fertilizing bands here in Pinellas County because of our waterways they won't allow us to put down any type of lawn fertilizers until after September 30th that's why I'm doing this update video now because in a couple weeks I'm gonna really start doing the thrower down thing and I'm gonna freaking nail it and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what can be done to a lawn that literally is in this crappy of condition so if you're one of those that's been wanting to see some good hot st. Augustine action now is the time to subscribe because it's gonna get super hot here in the fall baby you know how we roll, boys. Throw her down! Now, one other thing to note here in this lawn is this side over here where I planted the bitter blue. I wanted to talk about this specifically here because this is pretty interesting the way this turned out. So if you remember over here, this was bitter blue over here and then the rest of this is Palmetto St. Augustine. Now, I don't know if this piece of information is significant or not, but these are also plugs that were purchased from a nursery locally versus plugs that were purchased. It's all about all I'm gonna say there because I can't draw a definitive conclusion because of several factors. One being we got two different areas of the lawn. The other thing we have two different cultivars of St. Augustine here. So you're not gonna probably be able to tell it very well here on the camera, but this is really good thick St. Augustine right here. I mean, the bitter blue has really filled in. Now there's weed pressure here, don't get me wrong. There is dove weed in here, but the good majority of this is actually good, viable, healthy, growing St. Augustine. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to sign off here. I know that I didn't give you much of a video this week. I'm sorry about that, guys. But, you know, I've got my parents coming in town this week. You guys know when my dad comes in town, I always make him get in one of our videos. But I need to take some time to visit with them, of course. And then also my sons. You know, both my boys are active duty. And both of them are coming home on leave the week after together. So we're gonna spend some time with them. And that's why I wasn't able to get out a super detailed video this week. But I thought it was good to provide some context of where we are and set the stage for the next chapter here in this part of the lawn, the St. Augustine grass grow. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off today. I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for watching. Leave your questions in the comments below, and I'll see you in the lawn. By the way, a few of you had asked to show, asked me to show some more pictures here of Franken Lawn after the Iron App. So you can see I got a few pale spots around the edges. That's because I've had massive issues with crabgrass. So I've had to just get a little nasty in there and go a little heavy-handed. I don't like having to get nasty, but sometimes I do. Anyway. But you can see, look at how blue-green this is. It's from the Liquid Iron app. I'll link the video in the description below. But this, this lawn has had no furt since June 1st. That's the last time that this has had any furt. Look at that color. That's 100% due to that Liquid Iron app.